In this video, we're going to have a go at creating a skylight in our roof. To do this, we are going to create a new family. And this is going to be a generic model roof based so that it aligns with the roof. First thing we're going to do is create a sweep. And we have to sketch the path of our sweep. Now, it'd be a good idea to know the size of the roof light that you are going to do. And you just want to bear in mind that the roof light path that we've created goes through the center of the frame. So just accommodate that with the size of the opening that you're doing. So I'm going to set this one. So, and I'm just centering it around this axis as well. Okay, so that's the path. Now we have to do a profile. So I'm going to swap to the right elevation and just zoom in a bit and then click Edit Profile. And again, just coming in from this. Just checking it all. OK. size slightly. Okay, and then the big green tick. And again, okay, let's have a little look at that. So we can see now we have our frame around there. And I got 1016 by 816. Okay, the next thing, I'm just going to do another one of those just on the inside of this to create a um, sort of openable section, as it were. So again, sketch the path, and I'm just going to do that right on the inside of that by there. And tick. Again, swap to the right, edit the profile. And this time I'm going to draw around this. Make a shape out of it as I do. bits. And use the trim command to just join those together tidily. And I can also just draw a line across by here. And then use the trim command again to just go around these and get them where they should be. Right, so now we have one continuous pink line. And we can press the tick. And now let's have a little look at that one. So now we can see we've got this overlapping section coming around here. So I'm going to go back to the right. And now I want to put the glass into this. So this time I'm just going to create an extrusion and I'm going to set it 
just down by here. And the first one I'm just putting in and then I'll zoom in on the dimension and make that six mil thick. Okay, and then before we finish the extrusion, I'm going to copy what we have drawn by there. Highlight it and then copy it. And send it down 26 millimeters. And then send it down another. So there's our glazing. We can go back to the upper level now. Or well, before we do that, we'll just complete our extrusion. Then we can go to the upper level and we can see the actual piece of glass. So now we can just drag it out to fill that bit of frame. There we go. Okay, so that is our Velux. So I'm just going to go File, Save as Family, okay, and call that a roof window. All right, and save. Now I want to um, specifically think about the project that I'm loading it into. So I'm going to look at my building that I'm loading it into, which is going to be in here. So let's have a little look at the 3D. So I want to put a hole in the roof and just remind myself of the size. So it was 816 by 1016. So what I want to do now is find the opening by face. And then we highlight the roof. And then we can draw our roof window sort of over by there for now. And I'll spin around. Right, and now I will correct the sizes. Now, if we were not happy with that position, we could click on it and we should be able to just move it around and reposition it into the roof. OK. And if we're to go to a sectional view, we can see that opening in the roof by there. And likewise, we could slide it up and down the roof on that side to make sure we get it to exactly where we want it. Now we want to load in our roof window. So we're going to go back to here, we're going to say load into project. And we're going to go to our section. Or maybe the 3D view, we could just drop it in for now. See, it's a little bit fiddly to get it to the right place. So let's just have a little look if we can do it by here. Yeah, it's not put them in a position we can see them. There it is, all the way over there, look. So we'll just grab it. Try not to lose it. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll undo that.
Right, now we should be able to see it with our section. And we can now easily slide it up and down on this plane. There we go. Okay, let's look at it now in our north elevation. We can see it's a bit off by there as well. So we can also slide it that way and line it up that way. So it is a bit easier to move it around in two dimensions. OK, but you can see it's quite heavily recessed. So let's look at our section, take a quick dimension. How far do we want this to move upwards? Well, about 113. So I will now click on this, edit the family, highlight our entire little roof window, use the move command, click point it up, 113, enter, load, overwrite, and there we go. Now it sits flush with the roof. And if we just have a look at our 3D view, we can now see that we have a Velux roof window. But we have forgotten to change the materials. So we will just edit the family once more. Click on the glass and actually change that to the glass. There we go, we've got glass in there, so we'll say OK. And then we'll click on the other objects and change those to perhaps a white plastic or another white material. Plastic white, there we go, say OK, and then finally I'll click on that bit of the frame and do the same. Just change that one to white now because it's there, and then load that again once more. And then there we go, now doesn't that look much better? So we can see the frame and we can see the different layers of glazing, and that just goes into our roof space. And that concludes our roof light.